welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn alert rules. And in the previous video, we have, we have learned some recording rules. And in this video, we are going to learn alert rules. So firstly, what is alerting? So Prometheus allows you to define some conditions in the form of PromQL expression that continuously get evaluated. And when those, sorry, when those conditions are met, they because of alert. And alerting rules are written in YAML format. And here, if I go to the status and go to the rules, here you can say this is our recording rules. You can still record an expression. And here in alerts, you can say this is our alert page. Okay, so now let's go to the Prometheus. And here, if I run the up query, and now you can see the result one one. That means our node exporter as well as Prometheus, the state is up. Right. Okay. Now let's let's add the alerting rule. So clear the screen. Okay. Now let's clear the screen and now let's open our, oh, sorry, let's go to the Prometheus. So run the command cd slash etc slash Prometheus. And here if I run the ls command, you can see here, this is our folder rules. And in this rules, we have myrules.yaml file. So let's go to the rules. And if I run the ls command, you can see here, this is my YAML file, my rules.yaml. If you want to create separate file for alerting rule, then you can create separate file. But if you don't want, then you can add alerting rule and recording rule in same file. So here I'm going to add my alerting rule in my my rules.yaml file. Let's open YAML file, sudo nano my rules. And here I'm going to add one more rule for alert. So alert colon and alert for node expression. Sorry, node exporter down. So enter node exporter down. And the expression is expr. Expression is like this. Up in curly brace job equals to node exporter equals to zero. Right. This expression will be read as the return as the series where job name is node exporter whose sample value is zero. And you know that zero for metric that means zero is for down and one for up. Right. So now with this alert defined, what will happen after developing this expression? So if result is empty, then no alert will fire. But if it is return, which means that there is there are some time series where node exporter is zero. So let's check. So save the file and exit. Now let's open our configuration file. Right. So run the command sudo nano prometheus not right and here so here we have already referred this rules file in this configuration but if you have created a separate file for alert then mention it in under this rules file right so now exit now we need to restart our prometheus so in the command sudo system ctl Start Prometheus. Okay, now go to the Prometheus and refresh the page. What happened? Let's open our my rules file. It's not alerts, it's only alert. 
Okay, now save the file and exit. Now let's restart our Prometheus. Now, if you want to check our rules are set or not, so run the command dot slash from tool check rules and path of our YAML file. So the path is rules slash rules.yaml. Now two rules are found, success. So let's check. Now refresh the page. Okay. So now if I run the up query here, now can say we got one for node exporter and one for Prometheus as well. That means our node exporter is upstate. Now go to the alerts. Now you can see our alert is in inactive state, right? And you can see the path of our myrules.yaml file slash etc Prometheus in Prometheus we have directory rules and in rules directory we have dot our uh, rules file myrules.yaml file, right? So here we got our alert. So at the top of alert page, we have three options. First, inactive, pending, and firing. So the first is inactive state. So the alert whose alert condition has not been met yet remains is in inactive state, right? So our alert is in inactive state. So here our node exporter is in running state. That's why our defined alert expression is not met. So that's why it's in inactive state. So click on the alert name, it will give you the details about alert. So you can say the name and expression, right? Then now, now let's stop the node exporter and let's see the, see the changes. So run the command sudo, sudo systemctl stop node exporter. Now, if you want to check the status, then check the status. You can see it's inactive data. Right. Now go to the Prometheus. Now go to the alerts. So now you can see here, here, uh, this time we have zero inactive alert and one alert is in firing state. You can see here, right? So we have one active alert you can see here and clicking on the alert will give us the details about this alert. You can see the label, state, active states and value is zero. So this expression has written zero value miss node exporter is down state, right? So now alerting rules is also known as a metric alerts here. Here if I run the metric alert here, alerts. So now, so alerts metric basically will show us the return time series for any alerting rules. So note that this is the alert value and not the value returned from our original alerting expression. And one means alert is active in either of states, right? So that one means our alert is active. If I go to the alerts, you can see here we have one active alert, right? So if I'm going to stop my node exporter, now check the status, which is date inactive. Now go to the Prometheus. Now is it firing state. Now we have one active alert, right? Now I'm going to run my alert expression, alerts expression, and let's see. Sorry, I'm going to start my node exporter. Now let's check the status and now let's check the result when we run our metric alerts. Wait a few seconds. Okay, now is in inactive state and we have zero active alert. Now let's run the alerts metric. Now you can see a empty query result. That means now we don't have any active alerts. That's why the result is zero. Uh, that means the result is empty, right? Because we don't have any active alert. If this uh, uh, alert is in firing state, the result is one. That means we have one active alert. Okay. okay. That's it. 
So now the second is for clause. So the for property in your alerting rule instruct Prometheus to hold the first cycle alert in pending state for at least the specified time period before firing it. So let's add a for clause here. So let's open our my rules.yaml file. So let's run the command sudo system CTL. Sorry, sudo nano and our file path. And here I'm going to add for clause. So simply enter for colon and time for you want. So here I'm going to add one minute. Save the file and exit. Let's restart our Prometheus. Now, by adding one for now, we'll check, Prometheus will check the above alerting condition must be true for at least one minute before actually firing the alert. Now I'm going to Prometheus and then alerts and this more refresh the Prometheus server. Now manual exporter is stop, that means down. Now the alerts. So wait for one minute. Can see your oh shit. My node export is up straight. Let's stop our node exporter. You can see here now here. You can see instead of going directly from inactive to firing state. So we add uh, we have here added for for clause the alert has gone to the pending state. So you can see here now. Let me wait for one minute. Then it's going to going in firing state. So wait for one minute. If you click on this. My alerts so again, the details state is pending active scenes. So, wait for one minute. After one minute, is it, it is in a firing state because our node export is stopped. If I go to the target, you can see your node export, the state is down. Now, can I see you? It is in firing state after one minute. So now alert is in firing state. So that's the for clause, right? So that's the alerting rules. So in this video, we have learned alerting rule. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you liked the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps and channel.